Hey, it's Elizabeth Countess of Low Carb, and on this episode, we're going to make Bulletproof Ketogenics Diet Coffee coming up next. low carb. I'm so glad you are here. I'm Elizabeth. I lost over 50 pounds on the keto diet, have another 50 pounds to go, um, but I'm so excited to be on this weight loss journey with you. I'm a mom to a two-year-old, um, a wife, and those are my two most important titles. But some of my other titles are being a serial entrepreneur, being in pre-production for a TV show, and having a book deal. So I am a busy lady is the bottom line. But what I am so excited to share with you today is a redo of one of my previous videos on grass-fed butter, um, the keto diet, coffee, bulletproof coffee, whatever you wanna call it, extra fats you need to get in for the keto diet, basically. And I wanted to show you a redo because some things have changed since I made that video several months ago. I've lost more weight, so you can see my weight loss compared. Um, but also I've learned a few more tricks that I like to incorporate into my Bulletproof coffee too. So let me show you how I make my Bulletproof keto diet coffee. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is already have pre-prepped some coffee already made. I have transitioned to using decaf just because I was finding I was having one or two BPCs a day and I was drinking way too much caffeine for my body. You do what's best for your body. Sometimes I'll split um, half decaf, half coffee in my Starbucks coffee when I'm making it, but th I, just make sure you have hot coffee for this per video purposes. So I take my hot coffee and I just pour a little bit in. I use a stainless steel cup and that's probably even a little bit too much coffee, but this is the big um, stainless steel cup I'm using to help protect putting um, everything in when I mix it. But I use um, the coconut oil from Starbucks, from not Starbucks, from Amazon and I'll put in the description link below if you wanna order some. I like to order this just cause nobody's got time to be schlepping and this is something really easy I can put on my subscription order each month to save me money. And that is two tablespoons of my coconut oil. Sometimes I do one tablespoon, sometimes I do two tablespoons. It just depends on what I'm wanting but I wanted some extra coconut oil taste today. The next thing I have is my Kerrygold Irish butter. Uh, Aldi is now, right now, they have going on the softer butter in these containers, um, or the bricks, of course, of the Kerrygold butter. And this is about a tablespoon. And then I just put that in there and let that sit for a hot second. And sometimes, just to help melt it, I'll put just one more speck of hot coffee over that. And then I'm going to, um, Take this over to the sink and I'll mix it just so I'm not burning myself when I'm mixing it. And I use, this is my mixer that I use. This is what's changed that's different from my previous video. The previous video I had used a blender to mix it. I kept finding the lid was exploding because it was not meant for hot coffee. And when you have hot coffee exploding, it's not feel good <laughs> or it's not safe using it. So I simply use this. I use a stainless steel container and typically I'm not doing it while I'm on video, while I'm on camera, but you can buy an even smaller one. I'm gonna put it in the description link below, um, but this is great to make it nice and frothy. So I'm gonna just mix my coffee and you just want to give it a few pulses to mix it together so it's nice and frothy look how delicious that looks that looks amazing I'm just gonna take this off and then I just simply pour some more coffee on top I like to add a little bit of heavy whipping cream, but not too much, just a splash. Sometimes I add the heavy whipping cream, sometimes I don't. This is an optional thing, and all of this is optional. You can make it however you want. If you just want only coconut oil, great. If you want only Kerrygold or um, grass-fed butter, great. Um, I put in sometimes some cinnamon, just a splash, because cinnamon helps you, um, it helps, uh, there's studies have shown that it could potentially help you um, be less hungry, so I like to put a little cinnamon in there, mix it all around. People use MCT oil, I don't. I just happen to prefer these methods, but absolutely you can put MCT oil in your Kerrygold. Now I have this as a mom to a two year old, I simply put my travel lid on this and I go. And that's as easy as one, two, three as to how to make this. 
I'm gonna go ahead and put below in the description um, the recipe for this video and then also the links for other products that I've used, the mixer and things like that. If you wanna get them cut to make it really simple, but please give this video a like, click subscribe, and definitely would love to see you again on the keto journey.